hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Wrapped and Scraps channel. As you can see from the title, we are doing our tree. Yes, you, me, us, we, us are. We're gonna decor the tree. I already know, you don't have to tell me as I drink my Jack and um, eggnog. I know I'm late. I know I'm late, okay? But um, there's been a lot going on and I just have not really been in the mood like I stated in my last video. You guys, I just haven't really been in the mood. I'm not gonna even lie. Um, this year is <sighs> emotionally, it's been a lot for me dealing with my health situation that's currently um, unwinding, okay? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my video on uh, the hardest video I had to make this far. It's about three or four videos back, but um, yeah. We're going through some things right now, but I'm trying to stay in, up in spirit. And so I decided I'm going to go ahead and decor the tree. It's still the first week of December, so I'm still good. Uh, color scheme this year. We're doing red, silver, white. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. The girls, all, they did their tree earlier. It's kind of halfway thrown together um, just because, you know, kids are only interested as long as the snacks and goodies and stuff are present with my kids as soon as all that's taken away they're pretty much done with the tree they're really there for the festivities of the snacks and the music and all that jazz so um let's get into it but before i do let me show you guys my cute little santa earrings aren't those the cutest can you see them hold up his little face is white they should have made his face either tan or brown one of the two but they just left it white but i got these from TJ Maxx, there we are, so cute. But guess what, when I put the earrings on for all you ladies from the 70s and 80s, <laughs> I had to cut a piece of eraser to use it as a back because I have this little case of all these like specialized backings of earrings, not one of them would stay on. So I went old school with it. This used to work just fine for us in elementary school. So it's still tried and true. So I'm getting ready to burn my candle. Yes, I did go to the candle sale for all of you who are wondering. Yep, Monique Chante was at the candle sale. How many candles did I buy? Well, I went twice. The first time I went, I bought 10 candles, maybe 11, 12-ish. And then I, I just didn't, get, I don't feel I got enough. Now, I know for some 12 candles is good, but I have a nice size house and I need to burn at least three candles at one time to kind of get the whole house going. I don't put candles in my girls' room or the gym or even the guest room because those are rooms that I don't really frequent, but for the living room, um, the foyer, the kitchen, the kitchen and the living room can do one candle. The foyer needs its own candle and then the dining room, I have one in the middle of the dining room which kind of goes up upstairs into the walkway upstairs. And then I have one in my room and then one in my craft room. So I need, I'm usually burning three to four candles at one time. Okay, so I did go back and I purchased 20, 21, 22, something like that. So I have about 34, 35 candles, which will last me for maybe four months if I'm lucky. Okay, so anyhow, what I'm getting ready to burn right now is Cranberry Pear Berlin. All right, so that's what we're going to burn and we're going to get started. And let's get this going. And you guys are going to help me. You are helping me today because... I did not want to do this. Let me find my lighter, light my fireplace, and light my candle, and then we'll get started. So we have fluffed the tree, and now we're going to move on to decor. you guys so what I have done so far I just put the deco mesh on there if you're not familiar with decoupage mosh it's like it's like stuff you make wreaths out of or you can use it for decor 
at a party. You, there's many uses for it. I like to use it to make my door wreaths as well as uh, for my Christmas tree. They are great space fillers, okay? So if you have a Christmas tree that you want to use that's maybe older or one that has big gaps in it, this is a great way to utilize decoupage mosh by, um, you know, I don't have a lot of gaps. I do see a few, but I'll be putting some large bulbs in there like I did with that silver one you saw me put in there. So they're great for that. So what you wanna do, this is just my method. I'm sure there's other methods. I first do my ribbon, at least the decoupage mosh is nothing else. Then I follow up with my biggest bulbs because those are really space fillers and you want those to be deep into the tree. Um, you don't want those on the edge. For me, this is just this is just my method, sis. Don't and bro, don't uh <laughs> leave no crazy comments, okay? Everybody has a way of doing it. I'm just sharing with you guys how I do it. All right, just stock on. Uh, this snow on this tree is irritating my nose. I know you guys see me with that mask on. Lord, I'm lucky. Y'all see all that flying around? So I have. Three big uh, red ornaments as well. As you can see, if you look right here, can y'all see that? If I can y'all in. If you look right here, you'll see a big spot right there. So that's just the way the leaves and stuff are on that in that spot. So what I'm gonna do is just take this bulb right here. I'm gonna stick it right in there, okay? Stick it right in there, pull a couple of the leaves over it a little bit. All right, so it looks purposeful. And there we are. There's a bulb. Make sure it's right side up. That, that's helpful. All right. So that's what you do with the big bulbs. So I've got a few more. So I'm just going to walk around the tree. I am old school. Let me say, I'm severely old school when it comes to not decorating the back of my tree. If it's not going to be seen, it's not getting anything on it. I mean, it might get a few, but I'm not going all out. So this tree is gonna be over here in this corner. No one's gonna see the back. We're not decorating the back. Okay, we're decorating about 80% of the tree. So that 20% that's right on the back, can't forget it. All right, so I'm just gonna walk around her. I see a nice spot right there for that one. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going back and forth between the red and the silver. You guys, I used to love doing this and I still do don't get me wrong I still do but I've been so moody lately I really have I need to do better with my life well we can go right here all right I'm gonna pull up some of these around it you want it kind of peeking out just a little peek here and there now mind you I'm no tree expert all right but so I love these little jay birds this year I was really going with a peppermint Jay bird type sort of kind of vibe. I love to layer my ribbons. Okay. Layering your ribbons is great. Gives it some contrast. So we might be layering some of our ribbons. Three. So I've got one like that. A plain looking one. So the best way to go about this is to layer the the red in between the two planes. The, the red is kind of like a soft velvety, all right? So let me tie this off. And this is, again, just my method. Just my method, all right? And so now we have three, and we can do what we want with them once we get them on the tree, all right? So there they are. Let's start, shall we? Shall we, shall we? And I have a big roll of this velvet one, 90 feet. Um, Garden District. If you are in the California area. Don't you fall. Okay, so I haven't turned the lights on because I like that to be like the grand finale. Okay, so this ribbon, this velvety ribbon, doesn't have a lot, it's not very pliable, in my opinion, not as pliable as these ribbons. So what I wanna kinda do with the ribbon is kinda have them going in and out of the tree.
All right, you guys, so that is the tree decor for this year. I didn't do too much. I didn't spend too much. Uh, some of the stuff I already had, most of it, uh, the ribbon and a couple of the ornaments I did purchase. I probably spent about 50 bucks altogether, but I did try to utilize what I already had from the year before. Now, next year, I plan on doing blue, turquoise, and purple, um, so kind of like a peacock kind of theme. But this year, I thought I would go with the blue, uh, with the red, white, and silver. And I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope I you guys love it. Video. Remember to just comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Also, remember to stay loving you, stay loving God, stay loving life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.